Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be looking at Sonic Mania for the PC. The game was developed by Christian Whitehead, Headcanon, and Pagoda West Games, and was published by Sega and released on the PC in 2017. The game is a classic 2D styled Sonic game, and is a continuation of the original series, rather than everything that happened once Sonic went 3D. However, is a game as good as the old classic Sonic games, or does it just feel misplaced somehow, like Sonic 3D Blast was? Here's a deeper look at the review. The game's plot follows the same baseline as all the past previous Sonic games have ever had. Dr. Robotnik is out causing mayhem and trying to take over with his Badnik army, and it's now up to Sonic and the Kang to stop him. The odd thing about this game, and its story however, is this. Sonic Mania is apparently meant to be Sonic 4, depending on your viewpoint. Because you see, there's already been a Sonic 4 by Sega. And it's rather strange because of the history of how Sonic Mania came to life, but now most people don't even see Sega's version of Sonic 4 as actually being Sonic 4, and instead, most people will see Mania as the true continuation of the original game's story. Sonic Mania's cast of characters consist of Sonic, who we all know, Knuckles, who we all know, and of course Tails, who, again, we all know. The two new additional characters, however, are rather interesting, as their backgrounds are quite the tale. Mighty is a character who first appeared way, way back on the 32X system in a game called Chaotix, who, for some reason afterwards, just vanished from the pages of history. When the Chaotix crew would turn, Sega just pretended that it was always a trio and never a foursome, and like Mighty, just never existed. Ray is another character who also made an appearance in a past Sonic game, who would then go on to just disappear from any future titles. So to see both these characters return here in this game really brings a smile to my face, because it acknowledges their existence and it gives them both a chance to shine. I'm sure everyone out there has played a Sonic game at some point in their lives, be it the classic 2D games or the mediocre 3D outings. The gameplay has always been the same. Start at the beginning of a stage, go as fast as you can while collecting rings and dodging badniks, jump from platform to platform, and fight an end level boss at the end. Nothing here in Mania has really been changed that much, and the gameplay mostly follows on from the style that was present in Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but with a few additional tweaks and additional added gameplay modes for you to play once the main mode has been unlocked. The graphics for Sonic Mania are going for the classic retro 16-bit style era graphics that were present during the Mega Drive era. However, everything has been updated in beautiful HD and upscaled to 1080p. So take the classic 16-bit style looks and presentation of Sonic 3 and Knuckles and bring them up to date in HD format with 16.9 resolution options and you end up with something that can bring a tear to your eye. The game's levels are a mixture of old and brand new. You have past previous levels such as Oily Ocean, Hydro City, and a few others, and then you also have brand new levels created just for this game. Whether they're old or new, they're all absolutely massive in scale, and all have various different routes in which you can take to reach the end goal. The levels from past previous Sonic games are all very different as well. They're not just lifted from past previous games, but are instead completely new and reorganised stages, with each one packing a brand new experience for the player. I really don't think that this is a difficult question to answer. This Sonic game is Sonic returning to its roots, and what made it its best, and its most enjoyable. I personally have never liked any of the 3D Sonic games, aside from Sonic Colors on a Nintendo Wii, because that's literally the only real 3D Sonic game 
that really truly feels and plays like how an actual Sonic game should be. I grew up with Sonic on both the Master System, Game Gear and Mega Drive and was a huge fan of Sonic as a kid. But as I grew older I just felt more disappointed with Sega's handling of Sonic, whether it be bland disappointing game after disappointing game, where each one would feel either rushed or made on a tight budget, or just be it from Sega dragging Sonic's name through the mud all over places like Twitter and Facebook. I played Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited not that long ago by an amazing mod creator Yuruka, and that game brought a whirlpool of emotions from deep within me. That HD remaster would then go on to me leading to buying Sonic Mania, which really does feel like the perfect continuation of the classic franchise, and in turn would take my happiness level from an already exceptional high to an even greater one. Sonic Mania really is one of the best Sonic games out there, and really is one that everyone out there should try. Would I recommend Sonic Mania for the PC, the Switch, or any other console? Yes, I definitely would. Sonic's back, and he's best that he's ever been in a very long time. Well, that's it for you everyone. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.